Welcome back to P2. Today we are looking at logarithms. And this is unit 3.2. So, what is a logarithm? Well, essentially, it's the inverse of your exponential functions. And what we often do is we can use the logarithms to be able to solve problems and solve equations and things like that where we're looking at exponential ones where you know it's two to the power x equals something so that we're able to solve that for x and that's where our logarithm comes in so this is essentially what a logarithm looks like okay and this part here the a is called the base so this log would be log n to the base a. If I wrote another one down like this, this would be log 2 to the base 7. Or let's go with log 81 to the base 3 is 4. And that's the kind of way you talk about how you say it. So when you're talking about it, it's log the number to the base and whatever the base is. Now, the other form of this is a to the power x equals n. So these two things here, they are equivalent to each other. So it's another way of writing it. And what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to convert from here into the log form and from log into its exponential form. Okay, or its form in terms of powers. And this skill is a skill that you're going to use a lot. And you're going to use it next year in year 13 as well. Um, I should also say that in these cases, A is not 1. So we're going to look at a series of examples that will hopefully get you to understand the basics behind these logarithms. Now, let's take this first one. So we're going to have log, it's going to be the base 3, so it's log of 27, the base 3 is 4. And that's how we're setting it up, that's how we're converting from a power into our log. The way I like to look at it is that when I get rid of this, I go 3 over here and push the 4 up. So it becomes 3 to the power 4 equals 27, which is what we've got. Looking at the second one, part B here. So it's going to be log 2, the base 2, sorry, log of 32 to the base 2. And that's going to equal 5. And you can see, you know, these are our base numbers, the ones that are part of our exponential, the base, not the power. And then finally, we've got log of 2 to the base 8, and that equals 1 third. Now, let's have a look at the other way. Going from our log and taking it to our power. So, move this 5 over, raise the 3 to the power, and obviously remove our log. And that's the easiest way to go about it. Okay, so you just move your power, your base over here, raise the 3 to the power, and then remove your log. So if I look at this one, the 2 will come over here. So it'll be 2 to the power minus 4, and remove my log. So if I get a question like this, log 16 to the base 2. So we got log 16 to the base 2. What I first want to do is make this equal 
to an unknown like x. Then I want to think about what I just did in the previous question. I'm going to take my 2 to the other side and then the x will become the power and remove my log. So that will give me 16 equals 2 to the power x. Now, since we are not using a calculator, I need to think about writing 16 as 2 to the power something. So 16 is 2 to the power 4. So you can see that x is simply 4. And not using a calculator on something like this will only be when this is some sort of obvious one. Okay? And it's always that this number will be a 2 to the power something. If it's the base 2, if this is the base 3, this will be 3 to the power something, and so on. Now, this time we want to use our calculator. So log 26 to the base 8. So here you just want to hit the log button. We want to put our base in first, which is 8. Move across, then our value 26, and then hit equal. You can see here 1.566, so 1.57 to two decimal places. And then part B is in our calculators. So we've got log 10, sorry, log 42 to the base 10, and it's 1.62. So remember, within your calculators, you're looking for the button that looks very much like this. Okay? Now, if you do have a much older calculator, you might not have this button. What you might have is a log button and an LN button. If that is the case, then you're not actually going to be able to do this in this way. There will be a way of getting the answers to these as we go through the rules of logs a little bit later on, but it will require a little bit more work. So check back to a later video for that. Now I've got six questions for you to have a go at and as always I'll put the answers at the end of the video. Don't forget comment anything you want to ask or if you query in or question anything just stick it in the comments. If you like the video like it and of course if you haven't subscribed already just consider hitting that subscribe button. See you next time.